Hello everyone, my name is Hassan and in this video I will discuss about cookie consent setup. I know that cookie consent is really very confusing thing. So I have decided to make this video and I believe that if you follow my video you will have a clear understanding about cookie consent. In this video series I will discuss about every single details related to cookie consent. I will discuss about what is cookie consent and why we need to set up cookie consent and what is the basic requirement for setup in cookie consent. I also discuss about different popular CMP called consent management platform so that you can have clear understanding about how consent management platform internally work. As well as I will discuss about basic setup and advanced setup related to cookie consent. And at the end of the video, I also discuss about what additional settings we need to make our settings align with server side tagging. So let's get started. What is cookie consent? When a visitor is visiting your website, you are not allowed to collect all of the information in your visitor. If you like to collect your visitor information, you need some permission from your visitor. And cookie consent is a way to collecting permission from your visitor. And cookie is here because cookie is related to collecting visitor information and tracking his activities. So it's named cookie consent. We usually see this kind of cookie consent banner in our website or others website. So when visitors see this kind of cookie consent banner, this is actually way to collecting consent from our visitor. And then when visitor give the permission or consent about his information taking, then we usually insert some code in our website so that we can know this visitor consent related thing to our Google Tag Manager. There are different kinds of rules and regulation involved here and the rules is vary from country to country. This is called, called privacy regulation. In the European Union, it is called General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR. We are actually familiar with this. As well as uh, there are for US cases, it is CCPA, California Consumer Privacy Act. For India, there is also rule PDPP as well as Brazil LGPD. And then now I will discuss about how and what actually we need if we like to configure cookie consent in our Google Tag Manager. In the beginning stage, if we don't configure cookie consent in our website, we will see something like this. If I switch to my Google Tag Manager and go to any of the step here, and if we switch to consent, we should we'll see something like this: consent not configured, default consent instead has not been set yet. So it is saying that uh, to configure consent, at first we need to set up a default consent. How we can do that? This is the way we can configure Google consent, cookie consent. In the page, when page is loading, we need to set up a default consent so that we can our Google Tag Manager that we are the consent is set up here, and then Google Tag Manager script should run. Then finally, we can take the consent from our visitor, and then finally, we can update the consent with the given visitor consent information. And if we take the thing step by step at the beginning stage we actually use this type of code in and we need to insert this code to enable cookie consent in our google tag manager when we insert this code it will set up the default consent and we should see something like in our google tag manager in any stage of our tag and then when we will take information consent information from our visitor that cases we also update the consent and we usually use this type of code for updating consent and once we get this type of code then if we insert this code it will update the current consent and we will see something like this and this case is, you see that on page default everything almost everything was denied the add storage user data personalization analytics storage everything was denied and this is stayed after getting the permission from our visitor we see that everything is granted. This is on page update and this is the current state of consent. Now, if we check the thing in further way, we usually use this kind of cookie consent banner for getting permission. 
the default content we insert the code then we usually show this type of banner in our visitor and then visitor give the consent we collect consent information from cookie consent banner and then we insert and update the consent and if you check the code base in this setup it should something like this and this is the our google tag manager code so our update so our default content consent is before our google tag manager you see this is the google tag manager code this part but we must set our default consent before before our google tag manager and then once we get the consent from cookie banner or anything we usually update this code and this part actually a few more thing i will discuss the thing later of the video to getting user permission we usually use cookie consent banner there are a lot of cookie consent banner solution it is called cmp cookie consent management platform if you are a developer you can also make your cookie consent banner yourself but there is some facilities or benefit to using cookie consent management platform there are many popular cookie consent platform one is cookie Con cookie bot another is es cookie as well as if you go to this link you will see uh, many other leads and all of them are google certified cookie consent management platform in the next part of the video i will discuss about how we can set up cookie management platform to show cookie consent banner in our website